Hi everyone, welcome back. It's my way, Kay Swedish Whiskey Girl. Today I am so excited to try these. I saw these online last week and I have to, of course, first of all say a massive thank you to my friend Nicola who actually bought both bottles of these two, the new black bottles, and let me try them, which I'm so excited to do. I haven't tried uh, them before, so this is my first reaction to them, as I try to do if I can. They are blended Scotch whiskies. You, if you watch the channel, you already know I really, really like the black bottle, the non-aged statement standard one. But you also have a ten-year-old, which is said to be a little, well, it is a little bit more smoky if you like that. And then now we have these. They're new released. They're both retailing at twenty-six pounds, I think. They are a little bit high in ABV, 46.3, so I know some of you have said you kind of like Black Bottle, but it's a shame that it's just a 40%. If you are a bit of an, I don't know, an ABV, what's it called? I don't know. I don't really care about ABV, but I know some people do, and they prefer when it's over 46, so maybe this is something for you. So this is the Alchemy series. We have Batch 1, which is this one with a little bit of a red band on it. This is... Uh, a combination of single malts that have been matured in Spanish sherry barrels and it's also 12 year old green whiskey matured in ex red wine casks. This is the one I'm mostly curious about and that one's called batch one and then we have batch two which is uh, um, what am I gonna say batch two is more meant to be smoky. I think it's called something like island smoke um, so just reading out of that name, you can probably guess what kind of character they're going for. I am going to try the uh, the double cask, as it's called. I just saw it on the bottle, couldn't see it before. The double cask, which is the red wine and the sherry combination. And then I'm going to try the island smoke, because it's smoke. Um, quite interesting. I love these bottles, and it's quite... I mean, the design is stunning, um, and it's quite interesting when you pour them because you don't know what color you're expecting the whiskey to be um so it's a bit like a surprise good prices as well but yes there was something i was gonna say yeah apologies for the light i have a ring light here but the sun's shining in and it's all a bit dark perhaps so apologies for that uh, i will try to not have sunlight next time I'm filming. But let's start by trying the double cask. <clears throat> oh, losing my voice. We'll start by having a look on the nose. Ooh, interesting. Obviously Black Bolt is known for having a little bit of smoke to it, um, the non-age statement as well, but the 10 year old even more so. And you can definitely get a little bit of that kind of island smoke Seeing island, because I don't know if it's a touch of Isla smoke, um, I mean, there are rumours about Buna Haven being a big component of the Black Bottle. I also like the vintage look on these. Give me a vintage bottle, I am a bit <laughs> weak for those. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little, maybe a little bit biased towards a pretty looking bottle. Yeah, that light kind of fruitiness. Do you know what we'll do? I will bring in the normal black bottle because I have it sitting on my on my shelves, on my shelves, and I will compare it as well uh, after trying these individually. Yeah, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of fruitiness. I do think you have like a drying note of that red wine coming through. A little bit more island smoke than I think you get on the black bottle. We'll see if that's correct at the end. Um, but let's have a sip. Slange Ah, I definitely think you get the red wine because it's slightly drying and slightly woody and but still the fruitiness. But from memory, the black bottle, the non age statement has more of a, <clears throat> oh, what's happening with my voice? Fruitiness, like a crisp, clean fruitiness. This is different, it's a little bit heavier. 
I won't analyze it too much now. I will more do the comparison because I know that might be more useful. But we'll try a little bit of the island smoke. Uh, have a nose first. This is definitely <laughs> smoke straight away. But a very pleasant island smoke. Not punch in the face island necessarily. Like an amped up talisker perhaps. Or kolila. It's a kind of ashy, sweet, dancing smoke in a way. It's just like sitting on the beach really early one morning in the summer when it's slightly cold and the air around you just feels so crisp and there might be some waves hitting in and some smoke. It's... that's how I see it. Well, let's have tastes, lingerie. Definitely smoky. Um, Nice smoke, slightly meaty, like hammy in a way. Quite kolilai, probably. But it's kolilai. <laughs> Weird. Um, yeah, this is definitely one for those that like peat. I think. Yeah, they're easy to approach, but this one's definitely more for a smoke fan. Um, it's a lovely smoke though, it's so rounded. I don't really know what to say on both of them individually, because now I just have it stuck in my head, I want to compare it to the, the OG. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go get that and I will be right back to do a comparison. And here we go, we have the Black Bottle Blended Scotch Whiskey, 40% non-aged statement. Yeah, I have done a review on this before, so if you want to see a more careful examination of this, you can check that out. Oh, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yeah, it's just yum. Um, but yes, let's have a little look on this. What I really like about it is that it's sweet, it's so crisp, it's so fruity. It's like, the finish is nice too. Yeah, very different to the others. Let's start comparing the Black Bottle non aged statement to the Double Cask, which is the red wine influenced one. Black Bottle non aged statement is just apples and sweets and summery fruits and green sweetness, which is that kind of cakey almost icing sugar note. But the double cask has this murky wine note, which I don't know if that's, that's not the right way. It is slightly murky. Just because that's the character of a red wine cask, I think, generally. Right now, I don't think I'm getting as much of that kind of peated note as I did at the start. Kind of soft, lightly peated note, which I think is still maybe hiding in the outskirts, but now it's more red fruits and a little bit of murky wood. Definitely has more, mm, has a fuller body than the normal black bottle, but just because those red fruits cling to your palate more, really enjoy that. The more I drink that, the lovelier it is, I think, because I'm kind of getting used to it as well. The pea is light on this one. It's, I think it's definitely there in like the outskirts, but it's, 
Sometimes red wine casks can dry out a whisky too much or make it a little bit too woody. I think this is a good balance, probably because of the grain influence in there as well, just bringing the sweetness up. It doesn't taste a, a lot like grain whisky influence to me, but it's a nice balance and it's a nice core of flavour. If you're looking for a whisky with quite a lot of flavour still, Maybe a wine cask if you haven't tried it before, if you're just looking for something nice, maybe a gift for someone who's a wine drinker, um, something to get your, I don't know, your dad, your mum, your granddad, your grandma who likes whiskey and or who likes wine and get them in, into maybe enjoying whiskey with you, maybe this would be something nice. Also won't ruin your wallet. I really like that. I am going to consider buying a bottle. Yeah, it's it's a wine cask in a nice way. This is the non-age statement again, just to compare. It's just so different. The black bottle non-age statement isn't super peated. It's just easy to like <laughs> with a touch of peat. Again, it just gives it a little bit more body. I was gonna say which one do I prefer, the wine cask or the normal black bottle? And I'm gonna say this, I was gonna say the wine cask because it's something new and different, but I, also the sentimental heart in me really likes the non-age statement, so I would say they're for different occasions, but the, oh, I don't know, can't decide, as you can tell. Um, Definitely for different occasions. I think I like them equally as much. Yeah, let's go with that. And now we're going on to the Island Smoke to finish up. This is, I mean, I think it would almost be more fair to compare the Island Smoke to a lightly ashy sweet Islas whiskey rather than the Black Bottle because they are very, very different. The island smoke is smoke. I don't think the black bottle is. The black bottle's fruity and sweet and fresh. I mean, I've said this a hundred times now. And a touch of smoke. The island smoke is smoke. And if you are someone looking for a smoky whiskey to gift someone, I mean, it looks like gift as well. It's, or maybe an Isla fan who wants to try something different and someone who's open to a blended scotch uh, instead of everything having to be single notes because it's I'm trying to figure out the blended aspects of it I think the blended, blended aspect just makes it a little bit ease, more well-rounded on the palate instead of being slightly more harsh which I think you'd find in an Isla single malt but definitely something for someone who likes smoke. This, next to smoked salmon, would be so nice. Make me smoked salmon and cheese cubes in the summer with a barbecue. That would be oh, so nice. <laughs> and this is just, I really enjoy this one as well. For peat, it's easy to approach without losing the peat. I think it's still quite a lot of peat coming through, uh, but just in a uh, nice way. I keep being impressed by what Black Bottle does, and I think I would love to hear your thoughts. If you agree with me, have you tried these new ones? Should I buy the red wine one? Ugh, should I? Do I need whiskey? No. Do I like it? Do I want it? Yes, I do. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried these? Which one's your favourite? What do you think of the normal black bottle versus the 10 year old? Uh, I know some of you have already spoken to me about this, but I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts and perhaps it can help someone else who's maybe thinking about buying one. And if you want to, uh, I've drunk too much whiskey this morning and I need breakfast. If you liked the video, I'd of course be super, super happy if you would leave a thumbs up 
uh, or perhaps consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, or if you want to support the channel, I'd of course be super happy if you would consider using the affiliate links with Master Mall, the Whiskey Exchange, or the Scotch Mall Whiskey Society the next time you're shopping with them. I put them all in the description here below if you're looking for them. And of course, as always, a massive thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. I'm so grateful I have you guys with me on my whiskey journey. Uh, it's, yeah, it's so lovely to feel your support. So thank you so much. I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful day. Slangela, Scott. <laughs>